Hey everybody, Matthew Hall is here with 365 Films. Basically what I do is I watch and review a new film a day for 365 days. Slumdog Millionaire was directed by Danny Boyle and came out in 2008 and stars Dev Patel. And basically what this film is about is uh, this kid and his, his older brother, Salim, grow up in a, pretty much the slums of India. And what this movie really reminded me of when I was watching it actually is Rocky, Rocky. You know, this film is about this kid that go grows up and goes on to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, the India version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. And every single question that kind of happens is kind of something that he remembers from when he was a kid or when he was growing up in the slums and everything that bad was happening. And his older brother starts to grow up kind of as a gangster and along the way, uh, his he, he meets this girl when he's really young and he kind of leaves her behind on accident. Her brother, his brother kind of does some bad things even when he's younger and, and she gets left behind and the whole film is just him trying to find her again as he grows up. And it's all these kind of crazy stories mixing together and he's just sitting there answering each question and every single time he answers a question on who wants to be a millionaire, it or they, he gets asked a question, it flashes back to the memory where he remembered where that question came up. So there was one where like, who's on the $100 American $100 bill? And it's of course Benjamin Franklin, but in India, how would you know that unless if you were kind of educated? So since he is from the slums, nobody expected him to be able to answer any of these questions. And they actually take him in after a while into the police station and kind of beat him up and torture him because they think that he was cheating. And he really wasn't. He knew the answers to every single one of these questions. And Dev Patel does an incredible job acting in this film. Obviously, he's in a lot of things nowadays. But this was really the first film that he, he really broke out of. And what a lot of people don't know about Slumdog Millionaire is this film really was made for pretty much no money, you guys. I think it was made for just a couple million dollars. And another interesting thing about Slumdog Millionaire is... The film itself is like a Rocky story. What happened to it and how it kind of went through the, the independent film circuit and all the uh, film festivals and started winning a bunch of awards and went on to win the Academy Award for Best Picture. And it was actually the first film as well, you guys, to win the Best Cinematography Award for Digital Film. It was the first film to kind of groundbreak and go out there and use digital cinematography and actually win an Academy Award. Before that, everything was shot on film and nobody thought digital was ever going to make make it. And there's a lot of shots in this film that couldn't have been done with film cameras. I mean, they were running through the slums, following these kids, and obviously the whole story takes place from when they're really young to all the way up to when he's an adult and he's on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and it keeps flashing back and forth for every single question that he gets, at, gets asked. And it's just, one of those really feel-good movies, you guys. I mean, it does get dark at times. The movie is rated R, but it's such a feel-good movie. I mean, by the time you're finished with it, you are kind of super excited, kind of like Rocky, where at the end, you know, he's answering all the questions and stuff, and he's getting up into the million-dollar range uh, of rupees, and you're, you're like, come on, you can do it. Like, you know you can do it. It's like that Rocky thing, right? You know, he keeps getting punched, and he's losing, and he starts to come back, and I just love films like that because... It, you're really connected and you're connected to the characters and you want them to succeed and you might know in the back of your head like maybe there's no way that this film's going to end on a negative note right like he's not going to lose or whatever and I don't want to spoil the film for you guys if you haven't seen it uh, I'm not going to tell you whether or not he wins but it's just one of those films that really makes you feel good about the entire uh, course of the film and obviously like I said there are dark moments India is one of those places especially at the time that kind of it's going through kind of an industrial age right now, but years and years back, obviously you always think, you always think kind of like India and the slums of it are kind of like Brazil. And this film really reminded me of City of God, which is another film that is a lot like this film, which is actually a little bit older, it kind of takes place in, in the same amount of ways, but it's a lot more, uh, it's a lot more, what is it? Not as uh, happy or go lucky kind of film, but, this film is really fun to watch. It's really interesting. And if you guys haven't seen Slumdog Millionaire, I recommend you definitely check it out. It's one of those films that kind of you're going you're gonna to come out of with a, a happy experience no matter what. And my wife hadn't seen it. I, I saw it when it came out because I was 
just all over it when I heard that every single film kind of, or this film was winning all these awards all the way up to the Academy Awards, so I had to watch it. So thank you guys so much for getting on here and watching my review of Slumdog Millionaire. I'll have another film for you guys tomorrow. Don't know which one yet. I always just pick out whatever films. If you guys want to recommend a film to me, all you have to do is just... You know, send me a quick Facebook message, facebook.com forward slash gal, G-H-A-L-V, and just recommend films to me, guys. I mean, I have to watch 365 films, so the fact that I'm already on day 37 is actually really, really cool and really fun for me. This has been a really great experience, and it's just awesome. I, I appreciate you guys so much for getting on here and sharing this out. I have another review for you guys tomorrow, so take care. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.